What's going on everybody? James here, redoptionagency.com, and gonna go through some of the pickups. <laughs> I went through and put some up already on the shelves, but I'll grab a couple of pieces that were pretty decent, uh, or at least look cool. <laughs> uh, so Saturday, you know, as you, as you may know, if you watch my videos on Saturday, I decided to start taking trips, uh, whether that's hitting thrift stores or just going to small towns and seeing if we come across anything or this summer I'm going to hit a lot more flea markets um, just so I can get out. I spent, you know, like I said, you know, I spent the last five years basically in this house, you know, caring for my dad. The last two years, literally almost every day because of COVID, I was trying to keep him away from COVID. And of course, you know, he passed on Christmas morning from COVID. Um, so at least for now, especially the summer, I'm getting, getting out every Saturday no matter what, even if it's just going out to eat. So this past Saturday, uh, we hit a couple of outlets. So um, I'm gonna pull out some stuff that we found and Adrian went with us, my son and then Jan uh, on this past Saturday. So I don't even know what all's in these bags for sure because they were grabbing stuff too and I didn't get to see everything. So, but I'm gonna pull a couple pieces off of the shelf that I liked that I put up already. Well, I haven't listed yet, but they're getting ready to. This older um, Simpsons Viva Living La Vida sofa, and that's from 2001. So I liked that. And then I was happy when I found this. I don't know how well it'll sell, but I love this kind of stuff. Not only is it vintage with your vintage tag there and single stitch but i love like local pieces and stuff like that so this is paducah kentucky halfway between and then we have possum trot and monkey's eyebrow so very cool shirt i really like that so i was happy to find that and i was um i hit them late but way after they opened just to go through and got my hair thing going on there uh just to not in a hurry don't want to fight just going out to see what we could find you know just relaxing didn't find nothing didn't find nothing i didn't care just about me getting out of the damn house but uh there was other vintage clothes that, so that was laying there i'm like nobody picked that up so i was surprised i was i found that so but we'll get into these two bags here and see what exactly all is in here so this one looks like it might be all shoes. So we got a pair of women's shocks here. These I picked up and they were all together. So I just threw them both, both in my bag. But these are some uh, Sacconis. Don't have the cleats. They have, the, I guess, the removable cleats on them. And then this pair of women's Adidas. I only spent like a hundred bucks the whole, you know, total that day so nothing major because you know i don't need the thrift it's more of just doing it for the fun of it uh, a pair of air maxes so when i get this i want to try to get it up quick too so i don't have to sit on it and i don't need no more piling stuff piling around all right what do we got here some looks like some hiking shoes Mon Montreal Montreal never heard of them I don't think I've ever sold those so I'm not sure very nice condition though so we're gonna try to get this stuff up today or at least drafted today Whoa. don't you fall on me Got a pair of purple Converse. And these I had never heard of. They were called Break Free Last Resort AB. I don't know. Some black, like van looking shoes, vans. And they got a little cartoon character as the logo. I've never seen these before. 
but they were in nice condition, so I just threw them in the cart and pay by the pound anyway, so it's all good. Stop falling, stuff. And I think Jan bought these for herself, some Speedo water shoes. So I'll throw those aside. Alright, this looks like we got clothes in here. Let's see what this is. Austin Reed London. I'm not sure. And then here. We got some Mizzou Tigers slash Victoria's Secret Pink. Sweatpants. This is exciting. It's like Christmas morning. Uh, I wanted one thing I wanted to do because I knew I was getting to them late. So I had my mind set. I want to just get some common t-shirts because I used to have buyers who came into my store. Two different buyers. One from Ohio, I think it was, and one from Florida who would come in once a week and spend $100 just on common t-shirts. And I don't have very many t-shirts up at all anymore. So I definitely wanted to just get some common t-shirts. So we got Table Rock Lake there. Uh, Dick Clarks and Branson. There. And then when I was digging, I just threw some purses in there. I don't know. Didn't do no research. I don't know brands. Plus, I don't know if they check for money at this one I went to because it wasn't a Goodwill. One was a Goodwill, one wasn't. So, Rose, Rosetta, Rosita, something, purse. We've got a Tommy Hillfinger. Hillfinger. Purse here. Got this Nine West like bag. I'm like, eh, that looks kind of cool. Like a business attire, if you will. So, plus it still looked brand new. Still had those gel tins in it and stuff. So, got that. Let's see what this one was. Olivia Miller. Don't know. I said I just grabbed a few that I saw when I was digging. I remember grabbing this. This was cool. Lee Premium Select Regular Fit. This thing looked cozy. I'm like, man, maybe I'll keep this for myself. It is an extra large. It's nice and cozy, so I might keep this for myself. In winter, because I don't like wearing jackets, but I like wearing these like comfy shirts. So. And we've got a Ralph Lauren polo plaid shirt. Boom, boom. And of course I grab all St. Louis blue stuff that's cheap. So we got a youth hoodie. Yeah. And a St. Louis Cardinals holiday t-shirt. So that's all in those two bags. So pretty cool. So I think I got a couple totes more to go through. So uh, I'll put those in another video. So thanks everybody for watching and see ya.